Right, I'm going to be looking for some moody pictures around the stone circle and the adjacent area. Why not come with me? Right, well we're quite short of time this week but the forecast for today was to be quite possibly raining and quite overcast and cloudy so I thought given I'm trying to get outside painting done it wasn't a suitable day for outside painting so I thought I'd come up to the stone circle which I'm on my way to now and see if we get some dark and moody images from the stone circle whether we will or not I don't know but I thought that we'd try that and then we'd maybe go on to Chewy Town which is um, not very far from the stone circle and see if we can do the same there so having said that the weather is a lot brighter than I was anticipating but I'm sure we can do something there's still quite a lot of cloud and definition in the sky so so yeah that's the plan for today dark and moody pictures at the stone circle so yeah we'll see how we get on and we'll see you a little bit later Right, you can see we're now at the stone circle. The only potential problem I've got is the amount of people around. So we'll see how we get on and then we're going to head over to Tewitt Tarn, which if we look, if I zoom in, it's sort of not quite as far as the big uh, range, but just over that uh, little um, ridge there that's where Chewit Tarn is so we'll go there we'll just um, that. so well we'll just play it and see I mean this might be quite a short video but we'll see what we can get I mean I've come up with the first composition and it's I just like the sky looking that way um, and with a few rocks there and I think that'll make quite a good composition just need to stand and wait for these people to move and then we can capture the image and we'll maybe try putting some ND filters on see what we can get with that we can always darken it down possibly make it black and white just to give it more um, moody I might actually change the settings on the camera to, to black and white just to see what it'll look like because I think that'll maybe give it more It'll just accentuate the um, the contrasts of the cloud, etc. Because there's not a, a huge amount of colour around. It's the green and then that. So I think, yeah, a black and white one. We'll change that on, on the camera. Although, because that's just how it shows the, um, the JPEG that it puts on the back of the camera. And when you get it into Lightroom... Um, it does come out as black and white but it isn't baked in so if you decide you don't want the black and white that you'd prefer the colour you can go back to the colour so yeah we'll just hang around see what we can get and whatever happens we'll put the images up and we'll see you a little bit later
Right, well hopefully you enjoyed those images uh, from the stone circle. It was harder than I thought. A, it wasn't quite as, maybe as moody as I thought it was going to be. The weather is actually an awful lot better than the, the forecast, but I think I've got some good images and you will have obviously <laughs> seen them by now. And there was a lot more people about than I thought. So that made it, it difficult. I did try very long exposure, but I miscalculated. I thought I'd put a 10 stop and a 6 stop on. But it turns out I'd put a 10 stop and a 3 stop. So, yeah, it was way overexposed. So, and then people came, so it wasn't possible to redo that. So now I've decamped and I've come, I'm on my way to Tuit Tarn, which, uh, as I explained, now I've got my GPS on and maybe what I'll try and do is record where I've walked here and then somehow mark on where the stone circle is in relation to Tuit Tarn and then you'll be able to see where I've been. So hopefully we'll get some nice moody pictures here, we'll have to see. So yeah, I'm just on the road at the moment as you can see, if you look behind me there's the road, I'm just about to go up. Um, through that gate which will take us towards Tuit Town so yeah as you can see it's, it's quite sunny in places and um, there's breaks in the cloud for the sun to get through etc so yeah we'll just go up there see what we can find see what we can see I mean hopefully the one advantage we'll have there over the stone circle hopefully there won't be anywhere near as many people that we've got to try and avoid etc so yeah, we'll wander up to the town, see what images we can get, and whatever happens, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come up with our first composition. There is this tree, um, which you can see uh, there, if I just uh, zoom in. So we've got the tree there, we've got the town. And then we got the sky behind, which is, there's quite a bit of definition in it, so it, it's quite, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the composition. I have taken some of a standard settings, which was, I think, about 160th of a second F11, 100 ISO. I then put the 10 stop ND filter on, and that meant it was 5 seconds. And I've now put the six stop ND filter on top and we are going to do a five. It's in the process at the moment. If I show you the back of the camera there, if it focuses is on, I mean, I don't know whether it will, whether you can see there, it's saying uh, it's one, we're just coming up to two minutes now. So we'll just keep an eye on that because it's not on a, on a timer. It's just, I've got to keep an eye on that and stop it. So hopefully that will be quite good. I and mean, it is, um, as we look around, if we just um, bring that down a bit, we look around, there is some quite, some moody skies. We've got a bit up there over um, Blencathra, and then some quite dark skies over, over Skidder. So I think once we've done the images here, what we're going to do is, um, am I zoomed in? I don't know whether you can see there, there is two people walking and there's quite a good spot there, just to the, slightly to the right of where they are looking down over the tarn to Blencathra. So I'll maybe um, wander up there after we've got these images. And then the other place I'm going to wander to, and you'll have seen images from here before, but we are looking at the dark and moody and black and white images at the moment. If we look over there, and I'll maybe highlight it on the video, there is a, what I, I call it a lone tree of Tuit Town. There is a tree there which gives quite a good um, image with the tree and then looking to Blancathra. So we'll wander up there as well and then we'll head back to the van and home. So yeah, it's, um, we won't have walked anywhere near as far as last time, last time was round about the 10 mile mark. This today will be 
well a couple of miles if we're lucky i don't know but yeah anyway if that's any good we'll we'll maybe we'll put it up on the video and then we'll head on um, to get some more so whatever happens we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come up to this other spot that I mentioned and looking back down on the tarn and I'm just mulling over the composition because there's, there's about two or three different compositions here. There's the one where I'm stood now where we've got this rocky outcrop as a, a foreground interest where we can do but if we come across over here we do have, and there are various, just got to be careful because it's quite rough ground here and I don't want to go. Um, uh, yeah, so there is the, what, the wall here, which if we come as far as this, thinking about it, we've got the wall as a bit of a, a leading line with the tarn and then Blencathra. And the other option, which I'll, I'm going to explore, I won't video it, I will just go there and explore, is obviously to go the other side of the wall and it's still got the wall as a leading line but in a slightly different place. Mind you, looking at it here, we could still come here, have the wall as a leading line, although you, you lose the tarn if you try and get um, skidder in. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. We'll have a wander around, we'll get the camera out, see which it, which is which. And then we'll either just take the capture the images and put them up or we'll maybe speak to you again. So see you very, very shortly. Right, well we've come up with our composition. I've come, as you can see, I've come the other side of the wall and what I'm actually going to do is do a panorama. Now this is quite good, uh, I don't know whether you've seen a video I did about the uh, the platyball, the head here. But it, I've got it perfectly level and it's just the right height that I don't need to point down slightly or point up slightly to get the composition I want. So we've got that. I've set the... Um, Oh, I focused it, I've set the exposure, we're doing it at 200th of a second and just looking round as we go round um, yeah it's fine all around, there's no um, problems anywhere where it's going over exposed or under so um, yeah what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll capture the various images, we'll stitch them at home and then we'll put the image up and hopefully that'll be quite good again we're looking at the moody sky um, it's it's set to black and white at the moment or monochrome however you want to put it and yeah as i say we'll capture the images we'll process it at home and we'll put the image up and hopefully you'll enjoy it and we've still got the wall as you can see there the wall going down which is partly leading line in 
it'll be in this more or less the center of the panorama i'm not quite sure how wide we're actually going to do it i'll probably do it take it quite wide now and then maybe come in a bit when we process it on the computer just to get the ideal um, image so yeah well that's it and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to the Lone Tree and I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Uh, the last panel I did, as well as I said I'd uh, take it and I did one and then I did another with the polarizer on and then another with the 10 stop ND filter on. So I'm not quite sure which one we will uh, I'll have put up, but you'll have seen that. And on the B-roll while we're walking to the Lone Tree here, I did spot the stone circle, so I videoed that and I will have pointed it out to you on the video. So you'll see that we're not that far away. So, right. So that's the Lone Tree there. And what I'm going to do is show you it through the stills camera as well. Now, this is second time lucky because I started this and realised the, the 5D I hadn't press the record button so yeah so there we get you see you got two it town there in the sort of bottom third corner we've got the tree there and the third line runs about there and then we've got the horizon and the tree is up above the horizon so you can clearly see all the leaves etc there's no intersection between the, the main branches of the trees and the horizon and then down in the middle there and I don't know whether you can see, we've got the valley between Skidder over there, Blancathra, and I think the mountain there at the back is Great Carver. So, so that's the image we're going to be taking. So yeah, we'll turn that off now. And so yeah, we'll get the images. We'll maybe try different settings and whichever is the best, we'll put up on the video and then we'll see you shortly as we head back to the van. I went back to the van now and I think it's been a good a good day it's the first time in quite a while that I've come out with a definite plan plan where to go the plan for the type of images etc and it's worked I think really well 
I mean, it'll tell when I get home and process the images. But yeah, I mean, the last video that went up, which was going up Bleabury Fell and um, High Seat, there was a definite plan there in where I was going to go, but I was a bit um, very furry about the sort of images that I was going to get till part way through. And then once it clicked in, that was quite good, although if you've seen the video, you'll see the last few places it didn't quite work out for various reasons. But this, yeah, I mean, the stone circle was difficult, mainly due to the number of people there. Um, yeah, if I'd had it all to myself, it would have probably been more video, <laughs> video. and yeah. But uh, there was a lot of people about, had to be patient for certain images and that. But obviously here at Jewett Town and up to the tree, there was nobody else really about. There was one guy came through that I spoke to, but yeah, no, it was good. Ah, yeah, it's given me that bit of impetus to get out and do some more. So yeah, I mean, it's quite good because today is Tuesday. And that means there isn't a panic on now to get a video to come out on Sunday. I've got plenty of time to um, get this sorted and up and out for Sunday. Because um, last weekend I went out on the Saturday and then spent Saturday night and all of Sunday processing it and it was it came out late I aimed to get it out at five o'clock and it was about eight o'clock so yeah I mean we're going away on on um, let's see now Saturday going down to see my son and our newest grandson who will be yeah about five or six weeks old now so that'll be quite good and then back on Sunday and maybe aim to get out, come up with something for Sunday, to get out on Sunday, to get another video in the bag for the following week. So yeah, I mean, today has been very good. It's in given me some impetus to get on. And hopefully it's, hopefully the title of the video will, will attract people. And hopefully it's not purely clickbait and it doesn't, um, bear any resemblance to the video. I mean, the title will be something like Dark and Moody Over the Stone Circle, which is maybe a slight exaggeration, but it was, that was the plan. The, the skies are very moody and hopefully the pictures will will show that. And then obviously we've come to Tewit Town as well, which is, yeah, within, well not quite, but virtually within spitting distance of of um, the stone circle so no it's been a good day need to get home because uh, it's our anniversary today and we're going out for a meal so i need to get home and get changed so right i'll stop rambling oh just to say you look, I'll, I'll put the map up showing where we've been and just to remind people if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up if you like what i'm doing why not subscribe and if there's anything any comments please Put comments up I really do appreciate that I've just seen one somebody commenting that they, they like it that I do show where we're walking where I've been and that is one of my aims not just to get the pictures but to show the area show how beautiful it is and how worth it is even just going for a walk even if you're not going to take pictures so having said that we'll um, stop rambling and we'll see you on the next video